Okay, so here we go. Oops, apologies for that. Question number 15 here. And this is a question that comes in two parts. And this is a bit of a tricky one because it's kind of mixed up. Um, it gives us all sorts of things. It says PQR, PQR, uh, and PTS from P to T to S are straight lines. It's good to know. And angle PTQ, PTQ is 90 degrees as is from P to S to R. So we know that they're indicated on the diagram. Now that means that what we've actually got is we've got a case of similar shapes. And we might not need that in the first part, but we do need that in the second part. So if one shape is overlapped on the other, and that's why they're stressing that these are straight lines here, so you know there's no dodgy change of gradient, but then they are similar, similar shapes, and that comes with some properties. Um, it then gives us all sorts of information which is on the diagram and and you notice that I've already put up here ready for us because part I asked us to work out um, the area of the trapezium and I've just taken this straight from the formula sheet there's that thing on the second page which I've already talked about before that lots of people don't look at when it's really important the only difference is that our uh, trapezium is kind of turned around on its side so it's turned around on, um, on its end almost so this is the H, the gap between the parallel lines. A and B are the parallel lengths, and 4 and 12, in this case, are our parallel lengths. So, well, we know the trapezium, area of trapezium is that. So then for us, the area of trapezium, let's just copy it and then replace the letters with our numbers. A half of A plus B, and A and B are the parallel ones, 4 and 12, 4 plus 12, multiplied by H. H is the distance between them, which is 10. So times by 10. Now you can do this on a calculator. Without a calculator, you're halving the 10. You can multiply it by 5 inside the bracket. Also, it's really inside the bracket 16. Half of the 10 is 5. Just doing 5 times 16, um, which is uh, 80. 80 centimeters squared. So it's 80 centimeters squared. They've already got for that. So let's just put it in. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. The next bit is all about the similar shapes, and this is the three mark, and this is where lots of people dropped. Now, there's lots of different ways of doing this. There's, you can involve some algebra, but I think there's a straightforward way of spotting what's going on here. Okay, so I quite like the idea that I'm going to consider. Let's get the highlighter. I'm going to consider this. Oh, not that's the rubber, numpty. Okay. I'm going to consider this triangle here. But I'm also going to consider... Um, are we going to be able to do this? I'm also going to consider this triangle there. And those two are similar. And that's going to help me answer it. Okay, so I'm going to consider those two things. So let's take that off. And then let's put these lines in. So, oh, my apologies. Oh, and again. Let's try again. So, if I want to draw a straight line from there across to there, we've got that nice little pink blob which is useful for us. And then let's have a look. So, this length that we know is a right angle. This is not 12 now. This length from here down to here is now. 8 centimeters. Uh, this length across the bottom is still 10 centimeters. Uh, our triangle down here from P to Q to T is 4. And what we want to find out is our value of x here. Now, when I've broken it up like that, you can see these two triangles straight away now. You can see that the height 4 is double to the height 8. So, obviously, to get from uh, x to 10 it's got to double so we can see straight away that pt is worth five centimeters it's kind of obvious so the scale factor if you want to consider this the scale factor well from was double wasn't it so from p q t to go to q r blob was double. It's got to get twice as big. So all we did was we did 10 divided by 2 to go back. 
Now that also makes sense. It's worth just checking. So this total length down here was 12, wasn't it? And then does that that's triple the 4 and the length here of 5. Well, the whole length from P to S is triple P to T. So that works as well. Like I think that question is, by seeing it in that way is quite straightforward. Not every similar shape question could work like this, but this one this one works out kind of easily with a little bit of thinking.